secret side of me I never let you see I keep it caged but I can't control it So stay away from me The beast is ugly I feel the rage and I just can't hold it It's scratching on the wall In the closet Welcome to Rivalry Week of the Post and Cocky Preview Show. Here with lead analyst Ryan Mace, I'm your host Jeremy Sullivan. Before we get started talking about the Clemson game this weekend, Carolina was able to polish off Citadel last weekend to reach nine wins in a season, which is a milestone for the Gamecocks. Yeah, they were able to uh, win nine games in back-to-back -back seasons now for the first time in school history. If the Gamecocks are able to win on Saturday against Clemson, they will tie the school record for wins in a season, which was set back in 1984. A win versus Clemson and a win in this year's bowl game will make this the best team record-wise in South Carolina history. Certainly has been a successful season for the Gamecocks, and they'll be taking on in-state rival Clemson this weekend, who also reached nine wins this season in a game that means a lot for both schools. Yeah, this has always been a very heated rivalry between two teams who really don't like each other. Everyone remembers the brawl back in 2004 that cost both teams a chance at bowl games and was also Lou Holtz's final game at South Carolina. But there was also a fight back in 1983 at williams Bryce Stadium in a game that Clemson won 22-13. It's certainly been an intense rivalry between the two teams, and it's going to be a big game this weekend as Clemson comes to town. How are the Tigers looking this season? Well, after they started out the season 8-0, and they've stumbled a little bit in the last three weeks, losing two out of their last three games. They feature a high-powered hurry-up offense led by quarterback Taj Boyd and wide receiver Sammy Watkins. Clemson averages 307 yards per game through the air, which is 12th best in the country, and they also score 35 points per game. The defense for Clemson tends to give up a lot of points, however, giving up over 36 points per game in the last five weeks. Despite losing two games late in the season, Clemson's still a big threat as they come to town to face the Gamecocks this weekend. And what can South Carolina do to help slow down Clemson and come away with the victory in this rivalry game? Well, first of all, I think they need to get a repeat performance out of the offense that they got last week. South Carolina exploded for 473 yards of offense versus the Citadel last week and were able to put up 41 points on the Bulldogs. Even though they're an FCS team, this is a good sign for the Gamecocks. If they can move the ball successfully against the Clemson defense, it will keep their offense off the field, giving Carolina a great chance to win. Secondly, I think they're going to need to be able to pressure Taj Boyd. Clemson's offensive line allowed only 18 sacks through their first 10 games, but were exploited last week against NC State, allowing 6 sacks. If the Gamecocks can pressure with their front four and are able to drop back more men into zone coverage, it could be a long night for Boyd in this Clemson offense. Thirdly, I think they need to contain the kick return game. Sammy Watkins has proven this year that he has the speed to break a return or reception open for big yardage. The Gamecocks have struggled all year in special teams and are facing arguably the best kick returner they have faced all year in Watkins. If Carolina kicks away from Watkins all night like they have done in the previous two weeks versus Florida and the Citadel, They'll take an important dimension away from Clemson's game plan. This week's game features a high-powered Clemson offense versus a stout South Carolina defense. So what's your prediction for this week's game? Well, it's definitely going to be a big test for South Carolina's defense this weekend, but I think they're going to be up to the challenge under the lights on Saturday night. And I like them winning this ball game 21-17 to and taking home the Palmetto Bowl this year. It's always a highly anticipated game between these two teams. They're going to be kicking off Saturday night at 7.45 on ESPN. Tune in next week to the Post and Cocky Preview Show to get your full recap on the Carolina Clemson game and a preview of the conference championships throughout the country.